In this video, we will be tackling a problem that is very common um, in a lab situation, which is how to prepare a buffer from stock solutions in DI water. So in this problem, I want to prepare 200 mils of a 0.15 molar um, phosphate buffer with a pH of 7.4, given that the pKa of the um, H2PO4 phosphate ion is 7.2. The equilibrium reaction for the buffer is um, <clears throat> the second step of the, the phosphoric acid dissociation. It is the H2PO4 minus plus water, and then we have the Dibasic HPO4 2 minus um, plus the H3O plus hydronium ions. And we are given one molar of the potassium phosphate monobasic solution and one molar of the dibasic potassium phosphate solution. To solve this problem, we're going to use the Henderson Hasselbach equation, which Again, you could do this with ice tables, but the Henderson-Hasselbach is um, written in a, a more convenient form. So let's remind ourselves of that equation. And that is pH equals pKa plus the log of the HPO4 to minus, which is our base, over the H2PO4 minus, which is our acid in this particular problem. So let's look at solving this. I'm going to write it out again. And I'm just going to write our base. over our acid in this particular scenario. <coughs> so we're going to put in our target pH, which we said was 7.4. I chose that because that's um, body pH, and if you're going to make a buffer that's designed to work with your body, you might need to make it at 7.4. Also, a lot of biological reactions that you may want to do um, in vitro. You may need to run around this kind of pH um, just because it's a physiological pH. And the pKa was 7.2. You see a lot of phosphate buffers in biology um, because of the, the close pH to physiological conditions. Um, plus our log of our HPO4 2 minus of our H2PO4 minus. And we don't know those concentrations at this point, and that's kind of what we're, our aim is to figure those out. So we're going to solve this initially, and we're going to solve for the ratio. So this is what we're solving for, is this ratio of base to acid. So you get 0 0.2 equals the log, and I'm just going to write this shorthand base over acid, and we'll take 10 to the both sides of that. Those are our base to acid ratio. Which gives me ten. Gives me one point five eight. That makes sense because we are actually our pH target is more basic than our pKa. So I would expect that I need more of my my base in my mixture um, relative to my acid. 
The next step to solving this is to use the information that I wanted to create a 0.15 molar um, phosphate buffer. And that means that I want my concentration of my base plus my concentration of my acid. Again, that these are the, the phosphate solutions. Needs to equal 0 0.15. And so we can use our ratio relationship and this relationship. I have two equations, two unknowns, in order to solve for the concentrations of the base and the acid. So setting my base concentration equal to 0 0.15 minus my acid concentration, and then solving the relationship 0 0.15, I'm just going to call this x at this point, divided by x equals 1.58. Solving this relationship gives me x equals to 0 0.058 molar, which is equaling my acid concentration, therefore my base concentration is equal to 0 0.0918 molar, that equals my base. And it's always a good idea to check your algebra um, to make sure that that makes sense by putting it back into our original um, ratio here. And when I put my base number in it over my acid, I do indeed get 1.58. So the, um, the algebra was correct. The last step is to figure out how much of each of our one molar stock solutions I need. Um, we are making the volume I requested in the problem statement was 200 mils. So we can then figure out how many moles of the acid that we need and how many moles of base. So we get 0 0.0116 moles of acid. And from my base, I get 0 0.0183 moles of base. So here are my different moles. Um, to convert this to how much of each of my stock solution, we have to use the concentration of stock solution, which is one molar, and that's pretty typical in these um, stock buffers. So we're just simply going to say one molar, so the relationship is a thousand mils in one mole. And so you get 18.3 mils of your stock base, um, the potassium, dipotassium phosphate, and eleven point six mils of my acid, my monobasic potassium phosphate.
you um <clears throat> then you need to add DI water to get to your final volume. So our final volume was two hundred mils minus eighteen point three mils minus eleven point six mils. And so you need to add 170.1 ml of DI water. So that makes our buffer 170 mils of DI water, 18.3 ml of our basic salt and 11.6 mils of our acidic salt. Okay. So that will solve this problem, which is, again is a really classical problem in labs um, in I probably, when I worked at, in my lab, I probably prepared more buffer than anything else because it's just so common um, in order to run a reaction solution. You need to have the proper buffer. Until next time, have a great day.